Tiene la palabra por el Grupo de Demócratas y Liberales, por dos minutos y medio, la señora Lin. I would like to thank the rapporteur for his cooperation on this. We have now got, I believe, a sensible directive uh, to protect workers from artificial radiation, uh, workers such as welders. I am delighted that at long last everyone has seen sense and removed natural radiation from the remit of this directive. It has been a very hard, long battle, and I congratulate Anya uh, Weisgerber as well that she and I worked very hard after the Commission proposed to legislate against Sun in the second reading. It would not only have brought uh, the EU into disrepute again, it would have meant a nightmare for employers and workers alike. Legally, it would have been very difficult to prove whether a worker had contracted skin cancer from the workplace, back garden or the beach. Yes, everyone ought to be warned about the dangers of the sun, and that's why I'm very much in favour of national campaigns warning people. But once the information has been given to people, we are adults. We should be able to make up our own minds, and it should not have been left up to the employer to enforce it. That's a nanny state mentality gone far too far. Imagine the language if, uh, from some builders, for instance, if they were told to cover up when they were trying to get a suntan for their holidays. It's no business of the EU to tell workers that they can't be bare-chested or wear shorts. This today, and hopefully in the vote tomorrow, is a victory for common sense. It also demonstrates the power of the European Parliament. If we hadn't voted the way we did in second reading, the Commission would not have changed their mind, and probably more importantly, neither would the Council. This is a good day for sensible legislation. As a pro-European, I think it is very sad we have had to waste time blocking ludicrous proposals like this. Sunlight should not have been included within the directive to start with. It's a very good directive, and I hope everyone will uh, vote for it tomorrow, but just for artificial radiation, not for the inclusion, of course, of natural radiation. Thank you. Sí.